Welcome to my apartment. I am so excited to finally show you my apartment. I had been wanting to do this video since I think last month, but I still had my Christmas decorations and I wanted to show you how my apartment looks like most of the time. This is a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment of around 500 square feet. So in Toronto, prices are so wild right now. You would be able to find an apartment like this from $2,000 up to 2500 depending on where it's located but i want you to see the video and tell me how much do you think i am paying for this before i say it because i will be telling you the exact amount that i pay for it but enough talking for now let's start with the tour we're gonna start at the front door this is the entrance and i'm not sure if you're probably already if you live in a condo you already know about this but this is the key it's like a tag and this opens everything in the building, the amenities, the gym, everything. Something that I like about this apartment is this little hallway at the entrance that makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is because we have a bunch of storage on each side and then after that we have all the living space area. The first thing that we have right at the front is this closet which is the typical coat closet that we store all our winter coats that we are using at this moment and our shoes. I like this so much because it has a double door so it's a lot of storage place and then I bought this storage rack at Ikea to store all our bags and our scarves and hats. Right on the next one and I'm telling you I love this apartment because it has so much storage is the laundry area and I love this because not all apartments have an in-suite laundry. Some have like common laundry sites in the basement and this is just a lifesaver. The bathroom. <laughs> okay, so this bathroom, I actually love it because it has a tub and sometimes I like to have my little me time and have a bubble bath and then that's why we bought this little like wood table thing. We, I actually bought it off of Marketplace from Facebook. I love that it has such a big mirror and really good light in here as well because this is where I do all my makeup and my skincare routine and I'm telling you storage in this apartment is so good it has all the part from the bottom is storage as I was telling you this is where I do my makeup every single day and my skincare routine so I love it that we have this really good lighting I mean it's just a bathroom but it's really comfortable and I can't really ask for anything else now we're going to move on on to my favorite part of the apartment, the kitchen. I'm going to tell you why this is my favorite part. This island. The first time that we saw this, I was so in love because it already has a dining table. We didn't have to add another piece of furniture and it makes the kitchen look so much bigger than all the little square shoebox apartments that we had gone to. This acts like our desk our dining table and whatever we need because we usually like to eat dinner in front of the TV because we like to watch like a show or a movie or whatever but when we got we want to get into like a little romantic vibe we use this because it looks so pretty I'm gonna show you it just gets you into this really cute vibe and then this is what I also liked about that you can modify the intensity of the light so it just it's really cute all right I just want to mention to you that I'm barely starting my channel and I'm very excited to share all of this with you if you have any other like questions about this or any specific subject let me know in the comments and I would be happy to do a video for you please subscribe I would really appreciate your support on my channel going back to the whole kitchen now I'm gonna tell you what comes included with the price that I'm paying because for 2000 and up a month you have to get something yes or yes first thing that was included was the fridge it's a basic right obviously 
the stove with the oven and I really appreciate that we have an oven because we like to make pizzas here, homemade pizza, so that's really good. Microwave, what I honestly didn't think that this was gonna be included because most of them only have like the oven and the stove, but this one came with a microwave so it saved us some bucks there. Lastly, we have the dishwasher, which honestly, I had never used a dishwasher and I barely learned how to use it. Something else that I also really liked about the kitchen is this additional lighting that we have right here underneath. I just feel like it gives this little like luxury kind of vibe LED. Now I'm gonna go really quick around the kitchen and tell you where I got some of the stuff if I can remember. So the first thing that I'm gonna show off is the air fryer which we bought the next day we moved into the apartment we ran to costco we saw it there and i just had to get it on the next end we have the coffee machine because it's a must i cannot start my day without a coffee every single morning and neither can my boyfriend so this is like our most precious belonging and if you like coffee i bet you feel the same way and this one is actually we got it on Facebook Marketplace. I saw somebody that was selling it because they upgraded there, so it was so cheap and I just couldn't resist it. The extra little things that we have for decoration, we really wanted to go into the like kind of modern, rustic kind of vibe, so that's why we bought a lot of our decorations in wood detail and black as well. I really love them. My boyfriend was the one that picked all of these out. We got this one from uh, home scents, also the candles, which are really cute. This one was actually left behind by the person that previously rented this apartment and that was such a really nice gesture because I love it. It gives it like a little touch to the island. This little thing that we have here has actually been one of the most important purchases that we've had and it's because if you live in a small apartment, you get so full of smells. It's such a small place and then it's been really cold. We have been keeping all our windows closed so all the smells get inside and then we have dogs on top of that. Can you imagine? So having this refreshing the air and having it smell really nice is really good. Oh and by the way, these are the stools that we have. I actually want to show them off because they're really nice. I found these on Facebook Marketplace as well and they have been really cute. I mean, it has like this uh, leather type of decoration that it's not really leather, but it makes it look really nice. Now behind me here is our little motivational area that we like to keep because we're very visual people. Moving on to the living room. I think this is actually my boyfriend's favorite place and I'm gonna tell you why. He, he was the one that had the idea of buying this massive TV. Honestly, I don't care, but he's like, oh yeah, we need to get a TV because he has a PlayStation. So he's always sitting in this couch, playing with his PS5, and then he was the one that had the idea of adding these LEDs, which gives the apartment a whole new vibe when you're watching TV. Now I can't like, I can't have these turned off. I feel like all like all dark and sad you know i feel it like that so this is actually a really good purchase you should get one yourself this sofa i think has been one of the best purchases we got this one off of wayfair and originally you can probably go into my shorts and see that i had before like a leather type of couch but it didn't just feel right like i would sit down and i would like end up slipping because leather isn't like very comfortable so we ended up getting this one and I think it actually goes a lot with the decoration of the apartment we also have this black lamp that we got from Ikea and it goes like it matches really good with all the rest of our decorations in black as well now we're gonna go over and visit our dog's room which is it's right here <laughs> i am telling you toronto apartments are so small but we haven't actually wanted to buy like a lot of extra furniture because the more furniture i feel like the more stuff a place has it feels like smaller but the only thing that i 
do want to buy and I've been thinking about it a lot is like an area rug for the living room but I haven't because we have dogs right and then the smells and it gets dirty like if you have a dog and you have a rug how do you do it tell me I really want to get a rug but it's just stopping me now let's go into the balcony area oh my gosh it's so cold but I'm doing this for you so come This is our balcony space and we hung up these lights that right now they kind of look ugly. I know you just see the cords, but at night it is so cute. And we wanted to buy like a little balcony like furniture to sit down. We haven't bought it because it's winter and what am I going to be doing out there at minus 10 degrees? So we just want to wait for spring and then have something to read or sit down, have coffee at night in the morning. Yeah. Okay, come, I'm gonna show you the most important room for me because this is where I rest, so come on. Welcome to my room. This is my room, this is where I sleep. I honestly don't have a lot of things because I like my room, like just with my bed, what I need. I have two little bedside tables. This is actually my side of the room because that's where my boyfriend sleeps on that end. He has his stuff. I have mine and I don't like having as I mentioned like TVs or anything because I'm a person that gets into her bed and falls asleep dead like I like two seconds and I'm already like full asleep so I don't need any additional stuff than just my bed and my phone charger beside it and as I tell you it's it's a very small room just fits the bed two bedside tables and then we have our closet this is my set of the closet which i actually just organized and i feel very proud of it because it was such a mess um i bought these from ikea i put my sweaters and everything it looks so nice you should have seen it and oh, it was horrible i also did his side of the closet which he was also very thankful for because it was all just piled up on top and on the bottom now it's all hanged up and all nicely folded this was my apartment tour i hope you liked it as i told you i've been living here for just a little bit maybe like a couple of four months i think uh there's still a lot of things that i do want to buy as i mentioned the rug let me know how you do it if you have a dog i also wanted to add maybe a mirror on this side just to make the room feel bigger um, I'm keeping an eye on one that I like a lot. And before I forget, I am going to tell you how much I pay for this apartment. And I pay the amount of $2,100 plus my services, which is maybe like $100 extra because this is already includes a high-speed internet. So I only pay for hydro and water, I believe. But I am going to tell you. I was actually really lucky because this apartment, I got it on uh, lease transfers from some person that was moving away from Canada. So I got his price of 2018. Right now, if you were you, if you were to move into this building, I think you might be getting it for 2,300 plus um, whatever utilities you you have. If you want me to show more of the place where I live, I can make another video of the amenities we have. I have no issue on that if you want to see more. Or if you want me, if you're moving into Canada or planning to move to Toronto or whatever, I can make a video of apartment hunting. I honestly don't need it right now. I am planning on maybe moving within a year. But for you, I am willing to do it. So let me know in the comments.